Anna. That woman was a prophet for prophetess for 80 years, and she was equally a virgin. Mary was a virgin because it takes a virgin to intercede for a virgin, and she began to pray for 80 years. She was interceding that that child will come, meaning she was fighting for that prophecy, she was interceding for that prophecy. The Bible makes it clear that when the children of Israel were in captivity, they were delayed from going out. And I asked myself a question what happened? Why were they in captivity for that long? And God began to open my eyes to begin to understand that there are four or five elements. I will address just one or two this morning, and this evening I will address the others. Elements that stop a man when he has a prophecy. Number one, diabolism, diabolism, diabolic powers, diabolic powers, diabolic powers. Do you know? The children of Israel were in captivity for 430 years and they were not allowed to go. I was wondering and I studied my Bible. Was it an executive decision? No. Was this a judicial decision? No. Was it a governmental decision? No. How come Pharaoh never let them go? How come Pharaoh kept them in captivity? I found out it was the magicians around Pharaoh that were manipulating Pharaoh. It was the diabolic people around Pharaoh that were manipulating Pharaoh. Pharaoh, sir, I want you to know that wickedness is real. Don't let anybody lie to you. Witchcraft is real. Voodoo is real. Spell real. Talisman real. This Bible is a spell. It's a spell. But this one is called gospel. 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 What the enemy uses is demonic spell. What this one is is called gospel. That's what Paul said in Romans 1.16. I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. For it is the power of God unto salvation. It was not Delilah that brought something down. What kind of woman did something not see? Delilah was too small to bring something down. If you read Judges chapter 6. 16 verse 23 you will understand when the people were giving thanks they said they gone you have brought down this man to us it was they gone that brought down something the lila was loaded with charms the lila was full of infectives when samson saw the lila he lost his mind there are people today certain ladies enter their lives by the invasion of those ladies, the Bible says, by the means of a warish woman, a man is reduced to a morsel of bread. When a wrong woman enters your life, you become sliced bread. That's what it means. A lot of people stay away from trouble. You must be very selective of the kind of friends you keep, the kind of men you are involved with, the kind of ladies you are involved with. Don't just see a lady on the road say, I like you. Are you stupid? Do a background check. Who is her father? Who is her mother? Where do they come from? You didn't come to Europe to become an idiot. You didn't enter Turkey to become a fool. You didn't enter here to be wasted. You were up to 30 before you came here. You want to waste your 30 years because of a young boy because of a woman you have to do a background check you have to ask questions people stay off trouble people know why they stay off trouble a man that has no wife cannot lose an in-law can i say that again a man that has no wife cannot lose an in-law people know why they stay off trouble do background check get information who am i marrying The time of your life you should spend worshiping God as a Christian. Don't spend that every night binding. Binding. Spells are real. You have seen young men make money, carry all the men, invest on the woman. No property to their name. Nothing to their life. I've seen young men, somebody enter their life and they forget their family. I'm in love. I'm in love. I'm in love. They forget their family. I've seen situations when there are young ladies have picked many by prophecy. Who oh, their father married them. Their father said physically they can't marry. Anything they want, if their father will give them any amount of money. If they want a house, the father will buy it for them, but they can't marry because spiritually he has done something. There are some young men who are in their 40s, but they are still following their mother like bomboy. 
If you, if you talk about their mother, you are in trouble. Not for the love of a mother, but for witchcraft. Anybody, they have lost their marriage because of their mother. Tell their wife, say, come, you can, you can insult me, I won't take it. But there's something you will do and you will see my madness if you talk about my mother. Oh, mama. No, they don't call it mama, they call her mom. You talk again, my mom. They are crazy about their mother. Oh, have you greeted mom? You have not spoken to mom for the past one year. You don't talk to mom. I won't talk to you. Oh, mama. Chukubiko gozi. Echebike mama. Agozi nem. They are crazy about their mom. It is not ordinary. Should you love your mother? Yes. Should you love your father? Yes. But not at the detriment of your future. There is a power that is at work. There are people under spells. Spells. You see a grown up young boy. Grown. Grown. And they are begging him to be serious with life. Grown boy. Almost 30. No plan. No plan. From club to club, club to club, drink to drink, and he will sag his trouser and cream his hair. You, 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 you. Where has he been to? Turkey. Your mates have been in America for 20 years. They are still normal. Just Turkey, you enter. You, 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 you. You enter just Turkey. And you don't know that Turkey is not abroad. Is over sea. It's a riaza for where God is taking you to. It's a preparation. It's a transit. Say you are going to talk. It's like say you are going to Libya. You are passing through to somewhere. I'm saying this so that that your pride, that's your ego, kill him, bring it down. And plan your life. Give that, that pride, that your shoulder pad. Bring them down. And sit down. Yes, let me structure my life. One year that is gone cannot be gotten back. Sit down, plan your life. Plan your life. God didn't bring you here so you, you, you become an ATM machine. This one will call you. You send money. This one will call you. You send money. This one will call you. You send money. Your life is going. Very soon, those same people will insult you and tell you all the while you were overseas. What did you do? Guess sense, guess sense. I tell them abroad. I tell my children abroad, and I tell them all the time. So you didn't come here to become anybody. You didn't come to become a dispenser. You came to structure your life. Balance first before you think of anybody. Balance first. They can survive without you. This is that's what they talk. Oh. Your brother say, if you don't send me money, I can't write exam. You are the only hope I have. And that period, you didn't have money to send him. And yet he got the exam. Yet he wrote the exam. Meaning he has alternatives. Oh, send me this. You send your brother. And yet yeah, you are here using a Samsung 8 Plus. And the person you send money is using an iPhone 12 Pro Max. He's more, he's more current than you are. Now you, they work the money. Now somebody, they enjoy the money. Get sense. following me I have a lot of I have I've been to over 110 countries over 110 so I know I have seen that people all over the world and I tell them have sense and I tell them all the time if I've not if, if I've not given to God I don't care who you are the only person that can tap me anytime of the day to sow to him is the almighty God apart from him I don't I don't know anybody Someone came to me and said, please, he wants, he wants me to give him money to buy land. And he's a member of my family. And I said, okay, is he a member of my family, Seth? I don't even, you know those relationships you don't understand? Brother, sister, cousin, nephew. <laughs> and he said to me, he said, um, I said, okay. 
I'll see you in church. He said, no, 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 I'm a Muslim. I don't go to church. I said, I'm a Christian. My money doesn't go to mosque. You are not well. You, you, you want to collect from me and you are dictating the location where I will give you money. I said, come to church. Came to church and he stood like a statue. Stood like Mount Zion that cannot be moved. Stood on one spot like that. I look, I was I spotted, I kept quiet. At the end of the service, yeah, I came to church. I said, you are not useful. You are very useless. Standing on one spot, praise and worship, you are not there. Dance, you didn't dance. Jump, you didn't jump. So what can, it was better you did not come. So the next Sunday as they were singing, he was doing this and maybe I should see him and all of that. And after service, I said, you didn't come here to act drama. What was all that thing you were doing? Be in church again on Sunday. Am I talking to somebody here? Am I communicating to somebody here? There are diabolic power. Can I surprise you? There are people that have been in a country for 10 years. Sir. There's nothing they have to show. You think it's a coincidence? Something is fighting them. I was going to Greece. I've shared this testimony before. I was going to Greece and we transited through Istanbul. I, was, I went into the lounge to wait for when, they, it was a commercial flight, to wait for when they would call us to board. So I was sitting down and I saw something happening at the door. A young boy was dragging with some of the ladies and the guys who were in the lounge. He was dragging with them. He said, I want to see. He was pointing. So I didn't know. I was just replying message on my phone. He was getting too much. So one of the ladies came to me and said, please, if I can come out. I said, come out why? He said, that young man said he wants to talk to me. I said, no. By reason of the, 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 my boarding pass, I have right to bring in one person. So let him come. They said, okay, sir. They went. They brought the guy. Before he got to me, he fell on his face. He said, you're Apostle Suleiman? I said, yes. And he started crying. I said, what is the problem? He said to me that he started listing the story where he has been to, where he has stayed. And now, out of shame, he's moving to Greece. He wants to go and start his life there. He put his hand in his bag and started counting rubbish. 20, 20 euro, 20, like 25 piece, 500 euro, and put it in my hand. I laid hands on him. I said, Lord, change his story. I started praying. While I was praying, there was a chubby man, a white man, a chubby man that was looking at both of us. The chubby man called him when I was done and asked his name. And he mentioned it. The chubby man gave him his card. In front of me. He took the card. The man said, you come. Opened a briefcase. Brought out euros in bundles. 500 bills. And put in the boy's hand. Now, I have traveled around the world. These guys don't carry cash. They carry card. They use The white people use card. But this one had cash and gave to the boy. And said he's going to Greece. He has a company. That when the boy gets to Greece, the boy should call him. And the boy was, they were communicating in language I was understanding. And he's, he asked him a question. He answered. He asked him. He told the boy, say, I just like you. And the boy took the money, turned to me. He said, sir, just like that. Now, now. I said, what's going on? And he said, while well, I was praying, when I, he was about standing, the man called that he should come. That he just liked what he did, the way he knelt down and all that. He just like him. That what is the matter? He narrated to him. He said, okay, this is my card. I'll give you a job. When we get to Greece. He gave him some money. The guy looked at me and said, wait, oh, now, now you pray this happen. And he carried that money, he put on my hand again. He said, pray another one, pray another one. I said, keep your money, you need it more than me. He said, pray another one. Now, can I say this to you? You cannot say that was a coincidence. Not coincidence, it was the hand of God. So obviously, no, just imagine, if that power fighting that young man was lifted years ago, it's just one door now we saw. Just imagine the several opportunities he has missed because there was something contending his life. And somebody tell you nothing they happen. It's just normal, nothing they happen. There are powers that are happening. As a young lady, you don't pray. You don't pray. You don't you think you think you think it's easy to get married? Your mother was married, I was the marriage. Your sisters are married, how is their marriage? You think it's easy? You think it's just by making up and looking good? It's by bone straight and by uh, uh, eye extension and head extension and uh, makeup and all of that. That's what it takes to get married. You think it is catwalk? Sir, it doesn't come by catwalk, it comes by network. It takes a divine connection to have a maritally settled life. There are powers that are fighting. Am I speaking here? And that is why we must pray. Many are called, few are prayed. There are so many people whose lives are wasted because of a diabolic power. When Goliath saw David, the Bible said despite the fact that Goliath was a giant, Goliath had a spear, Goliath had a sword, Goliath still did something. In 1 Samuel 17, 43, he cursed David in the name of his God. Another translation says he invokes 
spirits upon David. Many Goliath knew, even though you have a spear, it's not enough. You have a sword, it's not enough. You have your loins, that is not enough. You need to deploy spiritual arsenals, spiritual missiles, so you can confront people. Meaning, even if you have beauty, it's not enough. Even if you have experience, it's not enough. Even if you have connection, it's not enough. Even if you have contact, it's not enough. You must deploy spiritual arsenals so you can achieve that which God has given you. Today, it shall come to your heart. I don't like your amen at all. I don't like your amen at all. I don't like your amen at all. Take your seat. Yeah, 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 yeah. There are powers around the world. I share this story all the time. I had a program in UK and I was walking, I came out of the elevator. So the, the protocol were on ground. And I was walking through the reception. We got some Nigerians who were sitting in the bar and all of that. So I'm sure they spotted me. So they all, we're all running out. Apostle is in London. Apostle is in London. Where are you, sir? Where's the program? So they knelt down. So I was laying hands on them. There was some, some white lady who was sitting down, obviously drinking, not too far from where the reception was, receptionist was sitting and was watching. And I could hear asking people, who is he? They say, he's a man of God. She said, man, I know. God, I know. Man of God, I don't understand. What is man of God? He said, a pastor. She said, oh, priest? They say, he's a pastor. She said, hmm. When I heard it, I called. I said, come. She said, me? I said, yes. I said, why? I said, come. She came. So when she came, I had five years. I said, you have been married for five years. And I heard she doesn't have a child. I said, you don't have a child. She said, wait. Wait a minute. How did you know? I said, tomorrow, we'll talk about it. And I moved into the car. The next day in the morning, the intercom was on fire. They were calling my room back to back. So I disengaged the phone so I can rest. One of the receptionists came and knocked on the door. I said, please, sir, we know this is embarrassing, but you have to come downstairs. There's somebody who wants to talk to you. Ah. I said, talk to me. How? I'm not expecting nobody. So I came. This time around, I saw the white lady. She knelt down. I said, why are you kneeling down? She said, something is happening. I spoke to her by the prophetic word of God and said, I will see you. The next day, when she got home, she said, some minutes to 2 a.m., she woke up to ease herself and she was looking for her mother she could not find the mother she went to her mother's room and discovered that her mother was using her menstrual pad the girl it was a it was a monthly flow her mother held a menstrual pad and was sucking the blood from the menstrual pad and sucking out the blood from the pad and the girl screamed we care i said apostle my mom does voodoo i said no she said wish 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 in africa we call it wish wish we say what is wish 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 I say, wish is somebody that fly, 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 fly. Somebody that key, 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 key. Wish, 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 wish. And I said, we've got to pray. Witchcraft is real, sir. The holy powers are real. If God opens your eye in Turkey, don't look into the streets. You will see people walking with their heads. A man came to my office for counseling. While he was going, he left the tortoise on the seat. For counseling. God, the Lord said, look, I stretch, I look at this, I saw a tortoise. So I called him back. I said, please call them and come, come, come. Somebody went to sit. I said, hey, wait. I said, God, come. So I said, sit down there. So I said, just sit down. He said, I said, sit well. He sat well. I looked. It wasn't there. I said, now go. The thing what you bring, carry and go. There are powers, there are people who are not normal. They are there are prophecies that are hanging because somebody is fighting it diabolically. Hey, we are the word of a king is there is power. I have come to project myself in the realms of the spirit. Everyone and everyone who is contending your prophecy through a talisman, through an astrologer, a stargazer, a necromancer, an enchanter, I make a decree that power fail. Take your seat. Somebody say diabolism. The antidote of the diabolic is the supernatural. Only the supernatural can arrest the diabolical. 
only the supernatural can crush the diabolical. Only the supernatural can ruin the diabolical. You cannot handle native doctors in the flesh. You can't handle them by killing them. You can't handle them by shooting them. You can't handle them by taking them to court. You can only handle them by reporting them to God. You can only handle them by reporting their evil works to God. For the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. Have you not heard? Have you not known that the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth, neither fainted nor is he weary. There's no searching to his understanding. He giveth power to the faint. The young man may fall and the youth may utterly fail. But they that wait upon the Lord, they shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagle. They shall run and not go weary. They shall walk and they shall not faint. The name of the Lord is a strong tower and the righteous runneth into it and they are saved. Whatever we bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. What I lose on earth shall be loose in heaven. Let this mind be in you, which was in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, taught it not rubbish to be come with God, but made himself of no reputation. You see, I'm being found in fashion as a man. He humbled himself unto death, even death on the cross. Therefore, God has highly exalted him and given him a name that's above every other name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Take your seat. Number two, and then I'll pray. Number two. God said they will be in the wilderness for 400 years. The enemy added 30 years. Somebody shout delay. delay. Shout delay. delay. Delay can fight your prophecy. 30 years. How many of you know? 30 years is long enough for a boy to become a man. True. 30 years is long enough for a girl to become a woman. 30 years is long enough for a lady to get married and have her children. 30 years is long enough for you to start school from kindergarten till you get your master's degree. 30 years was stolen out of their lifetime. There are so many of us. There's a prophecy about you, but there is delay. You see dreams. You see yourself in countries. You see yourself in America, in London, but there is something keeping you on this spot. You see yourself buying houses, properties, but there's something keeping you caught the yoke of delay. No wonder David said in Psalm 90 verse 14, satisfy us early. I have a friend who had his child when he was 21. He's 51 now. He's a grandfather with two children. He's 51. He had his child when he was 31. Now, when I see him and his child, I start asking myself, what did they do? Am I talking to somebody here? When, you see, when you get, when you get this thing early, Imagine a lady. Have you seen some of you who had your mother? How do you why she was young? You and your mother look like sisters. I, I, am I communicating here? Yeah? When you are working with your mom, they say, this your, you, you, you even make jokes. You say, she's my younger sister. She's my elder sister. Because it happened early. Am I speaking here? There are so many of us. We want to wait and be as old as Abraham before we get married. You are 55. You are still looking for the will of God. Meanwhile, your family is waiting for your will. You are still looking for the will of God. Meanwhile, your family is waiting for you to write your will. At 55, will of God is what you are looking for. And your family is saying, where will you die and give us your will? Because you are becoming too old for that thing which you are expecting. Time is going. Handle the yoke of delay. Young girl, don't let people say you have baby face. They are deceiving you. Over 40, you are still doing, doing the reality. <laughs> you are still doing the omalicha. At, 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 at 50, at almost 55, because you believe in makeup, sir, there is a place, a level you get to as a lady. You put makeup, makeup, you say, no, it will fall. You put, you put eyebrow, it will fall. You put this one, it will fall. Am I speaking here? Because at that stage, even the makeup and the, the cosmetics, they are angry at your laxity. It is time to define your life. At this stage of your life, a young man walk him. Don't ask questions. Now marry, if you are not married, please go away. Your life cannot be wasted now. At this stage of your life, life. 
Is it now you want to be engaged to somebody for five years to study each other? Is it a university? <laughs> what are you studying yourself for? See, we have been together for nine years. We are knowing ourselves. Even a student at, in school for nine years, he don't know book day, day. Nine years, ten years. Don't waste your life. There are relationships in church that are broken. Any relationship that's not, not making sense. I just break it. I tell somebody, marry a person that's ready to settle down. Can't be since destroying somebody's child for nine years, ten years. Why? See, both of you are, you, are, you, are, you are still studying each other. Degree is four years. Masters is two years. PhD, two years. Eight years, somebody has PhD. Your relationship has become an institution. Without graduation. You better tell yourself the truth. Where are we going? Don't waste your life. By alcohol, by smoking, by all of that, you are cutting short your life. Your kidneys are damaged. Your liver is damaged. I'm being honest to you. Leave, leave the spiritual angle. Let's go physical. Let's go medical. You are killing your liver. There's something called bronchitis. There's liver sclerosis. There's liver cancer. You are killing your system when you do all of those things because you are abusing them. Delay! Abraham had a child at 100. No wonder when the child was to get married, he couldn't go. He sent his servant. There was no way in scripture that Abraham and Isaac ever had communication and they were playing. Abraham is 100. That's a century. Just imagine, imagine Isaac is 10. What kind of joke will he crack to that child? He's, he's an ancestor. He's an ancestor. <laughs> no, study your Bible. There was, the only time both of them, I saw scripture say they were together, was when he was carrying him to the mountain to sacrifice him. Can't you see what he was about to do? Ancestor, an ancestor, 100 years. What kind of joke will he crack? Because what Abraham calls a joke at 100 to Isaac is horror of him. It's horror of him. You tell him, say, ah, Isaac, I saw God in the cloud and he was walking through the sky. Isaac will shout, Mommy! Because this one is not a joke. This one is an ancestor. It's an ancestral joke. Am I talking to somebody here? Yeah? Because the miracle came late. Open your two hands. I make a decree into your life. The anointing for speed. Receive it. Listen, listen. In football, when both sides of the field are yet to score a goal, there is something called extra time. All of you that have wasted years, in the name of Jesus, I decree extra time. Remain standing. I want to pray. There was a woman called Hannah in the Bible. She had no child. Hannah had no child. Hannah cried, 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 cried. Hannah said, Hannah had a mate called Penina. Penina was married to the husband as the second wife. Penina had five children. And she used the five children to torment Hannah. Do you know the way a mother that has many children torment a woman that has no child? When Penina wants to go and buy salt or go and buy a box of matches, you know, and Hannah is there. And Penina scream. She doesn't call one child. Paul, Emmanuel, James, uh, who is there? If I hear Bukas, let me Emmanuel, James, Sarah, go and buy matches. Who are you calling? She must just know that they are many. The Bible said Penina for many years. Hannah wanted to prove a point. God kept quiet. Because God's intervention in our life is not to prove a point. The reason God wants to give you money is not so that you can prove to people. It's not so that they, 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 they will know that God, no. So long Anna wanted to prove a point, she didn't have a child. No child, until one day Anna entered the temple and saw that the sons of Eli, Ophni and Phineas, they were wayward people. They were supposed to be the next priest, but they were wayward. He looked at their father, priest Eli. He was too old and was getting blind. And Anna looked at the temple and was saying, what if Eli die now? Nobody to take over this temple. Nobody to become a man of God. He said, Father, give me a child and I will give you back that child to take care of the temple. God said, Hannah, now you are talking. You are interested in me. The miracle you want is for me. Do you know when I prayed, when God called me to be a preacher, I come from a blessed family. 
blessed family. My father is rich, my mother rich. So when God called me to preach, my father was angry, he kicked me out. And I told God, I said, if you want me to preach, you will bless me. Bless me because I hate to see people poor. And everyone around me can tell you, I live my life for people. I live my life for people. I hate to see people hungry. I hate to see people suffering. I hate to see people stranded. Not for myself. And when I discovered that when you are interested in helping people, God begins to bless you yourself. When you are, I'm talking to you now. If you can make up your mind, think of a widow. Think of an orphan back home. And tell the person, leave your school fees for me. I will send it to you anytime you want to pay your fees. Begin to invest in the life of that orphan. Begin to bless that widow. It might be small. Just begin to bless them. As you are doing that, you begin to see doors opening for you. You begin to see opportunity opening for you. Am I talking to somebody here? We are going to crush delay. God Almighty is going to give you speed. I said God will give you speed. God will give you speed. God will give you speed. Someone gave a testimony. I we prayed for him. He got to Ireland. God, that things were bad. A prophetic word came, and in six months, he got a passport. I've been around the world. It doesn't happen. Six months, it doesn't happen. God knows how to connect you to the right place. God can carry your hand and move you straight in this country to the presidency. And they say, what do you want? Life becomes easy. But first of all, we are going to handle these two forces. As we pray against diabolic arrows, you are going to see reaction in the realm of the spirit. Anyone that say over his dead body, will you rise? God will answer their prayers. I'm not sure you understood what I said. Anyone that said over his dead body, is a prayer. He said over his dead body, will you rise? God will answer their prayers. Anyone that's taking your name to places, your photograph is somewhere. I decree as we pray. Take this prayer now. Say, my father, my father. Shout it louder. Shout it louder. In the name of Jesus. Every diabolic arrow. Every diabolic arrow. Fighting my prophecy. Fighting my prophecy. Aspire. Aspire. Ya Let jams fail. Let spell fail. Ya sapalaradash. Le kwa 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 te le 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 Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Yasa Paraga, in Jesus name we pray we are going to take a prayer now anywhere I I take this prayer I have noticed 
I've noticed something happens. When the anointing of God comes upon you, there are people, the ushers are going to be very alert as you are praying now because there are some people that will start running physically. If you don't hold them, they may run out of the hall. It's an anointing for speed. Listen, that what you couldn't handle in three years, you will handle it in three weeks. When you are watching a movie and you feel too impatient that a scene is prolonged, what do you press? Fast forward. God is about to fast forward somebody. As we take this prayer now, very simple. By fire, turn my delay to speed. Oh Lord, arise by fire, turn my delay to speed to speed. There are so many of you who have been around. I'm telling you, the, the power of God will hit this place. There are people that will feel it like fire. Some will feel it like current of electricity. As we begin to pray, it will come mighty. Say, my father, my father! My father, my father! In the name of Jesus! In the name of Jesus! As I begin to pray, as I begin to pray, oh Lord, arise! 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 Let us speed. On my delay, open your mouth and fire. A colo to buy a Santa Marada Bayala, Yanga Yakaraka Bolada. Jesus, Asha, hold them, hold them, hold them. Sapa de Catawa, and bring them here. Parama de Bos, Asha, Akeleta, Cara them here, Cara them. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, power, 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 Holy Ghost, speed. I fast forward you. I fast forward you. Holy Ghost power. Osha. Help them. Help them. Holy Ghost power. Jesus. Jesus. Ayagasa, 
Lift your hands to heaven. Mm -hmm. Anything inside you that my father has not planted. Anything inside you that Jesus has not planted. I command. I command. Pack your load. Pluck your property. Come out of her. Come out of her. Come out of him. Come out of him. Hold him. Hold him. Come out of him. Ah, Come out. Ah, Come out. Ah, that thing in your stomach. Ah, that thing God has not planted. Ah, I command. Ah, catch fire. Ah, catch fire. Ah, catch fire. Ah, that thing that Jesus has not planted. Ah, whatever is inside you ah, that is not of Jesus. Ah, I command. Ah, I command. Ah, Come out of him. Come out of her. Ah, I break your power. Lose him and let him go. Lose her. Come out. Suprata. Nigasha <laughs> Sakale, my father. There is someone. There's somebody here. You are a footballer. You are a footballer. Your mother's name is Comfort. And your mother is sick. Madu. Your mother is called Comfort Madu. Yes, sir. And she is very sick. Yes, sir. You are the one? Yes, sir. Stand up. Cha -da 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 -da. I want to pray for your mother. I have four prophecies for you. Number one, the Lord said your mother is going to be healed. And God is going to help you. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. The Lord is showing me. Trials. Football trials. You do trial. They'll say they will call you. Something will happen. Yes, they'll say come and do trial. Yeah, you do tri my friends, okay. You do trials. And, and they'll say oh look at this. Look at that. You have, you have gotten contact to huge companies. Huge nations. But right now as I pray for you. God is going to surprise you. 
look at me i saw you being bought this is a huge huge organization i saw god giving you a surprise and he's going to open your doors in the name of jesus Katibarasa. look at me i saw you in the spirit realm I saw a girl by your side and Amaka. Chiamaka. Chiamaka. Yes, sir. Who is she? She's my girlfriend. <laughs> Stand up. Where is she? I want to pray. She's not a molested. Oh, she's a Nigerian. Yes, sir. She's in Nigeria. Yes, I want to pray for you. God Almighty is going to settle you well. Who is Bernard? My father. Bernard. Yes, sir. Is your father? Yes, sir. There is somebody who I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit. Somebody, your money is in China. They are holding your money in China. Is it you? Come here. Brother, tap it. To pray for people, I don't take a dime. It's free. Are you following me? For me to pray for you is free. I don't take money from you. But when I pray and God change your story, use your head. And one of the ways you use your head is to do what I do. Look for the poor. Help them. So pray to the man see great devotion. Kepler Sadas Kolo Shota. Innocent. Who is innocent? Emeka. Innocent and Mecca. Come here. She sees it. It's done so much for me. I cannot tell it all. No. If I have ten thousand tongues. It still won't be enough. When you heal, you heal completely. Oh, to we say, What shall I render? For he has done so very much What shall I render? What Brother, take two steps forward. Bram Dokoso Prista Tita Laramanza. Lift your hands. I saw something in the spirit realm. That's your son name. Okiki. The man can't even say to Kiki. Listen. Those.
Can I tell you exactly the words I'm hearing? Yes, the exact sir. words. I should not filter them. I should say the exact words. Yes, sir. What I'm hearing is, tell him that those that killed his mom cannot kill him. Amen. Where's your mom? She's dead. The exact words I'm hearing. I was trying to just rebuke death, but I said, no, say it the exact way. He said, tell him, I'm hearing it again, that those that kill Dorothy. That's my mother's name. And now, he said, ask him what is happening to his heart. He said, there is power. your heart is beating yes. and, and it will it will it will it, sometimes your heartbeat will skip yes. now the, 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 the enemy has fired an attack on your heart your heart will just beat like three times four times yes. is hitting fast yes, sir. put yes. your hand on your chest put your hand on your chest if that's the means don't cry don't cry if that's the means through which The Lord said to me, terminate the assignment of evil uncle. Amen. Your uncle. Your uncle. Are you following me? As I'm saying this right now, as I'm praying for you here, something will be happening in your hometown. Amen. Today in the name of Jesus, wherever you have been summoned, wherever they have called you against your will, Either through a photograph or through a picture or through name or somebody in the family submitted it to them i decree in the name of the lord jesus hebrews 12 29 say god is a consuming fire may they be consumed brother you will hear their end come commanded to stop Amen. cease be free he's free in the name of Jesus who is Lucy who is Lucy who is Lucy Lucy and no Lucy and no is it you come here Katabrosta open your oil those of you in front, if you need to go and get your oil and come back, do that. Go get the oil. Go get your oil. Go, you have oil? Go get your oil. Get your oil. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Oh my soul. Worship is all. Sing like never before. Oh, my soul. Worship is all. Who is Louis? Who is Louis? Who is Louis? Is it you? Come here. Clap your hands if you can. Open the oil and lift it. Lift it. Lift it. Lift it. Lift it, lift the oil. Tiki presto. Tiki presto. Tiki, 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 tiki
Now, in the name of Jesus, lift the oil. If you've got oil on your palm, maybe you don't have on the bottle, you just have oil on your palm, you can lift up the palm with oil. But if you have oil on the bottle, lift up the oil on the bottle. You cannot afford to miss tonight. You cannot. You cannot afford to miss tonight. If you are a spiritual person, if you are a spiritual person, since we started, you would have felt an uncommon presence of God. An uncommon presence of God if you are a spiritual person. In Exodus 30, 30, he said, Thou shalt consecrate Aaron and his sons and anoint them with oil that they may minister in the priest office. In James 5, is any sick among you? Let him call upon the elders of the church. Let them pray over him, anointing him with oil. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick. I transfer in the realm of the spirit the bodily presence of God into this oil. Let this oil become a carrier of signs and wonders. Anything this oil touches, let there be supernatural encounter. Anything this oil touches, let there be a release of supernatural power. Let it bring deliverance. Let it raise the dead. Let it heal the sick. Let it bring documentations. Let it open closed wombs. <laughs> babies, 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 babies. People are getting babies, 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 babies. Children, children, babies. Miracle babies, miracle babies, miracle babies, miracle babies, miracle babies, miracle babies. Miracle babies, miracle babies, miracle babies, miracle babies. Kadiano si batayagri, keyalata zuka palati. Let there be a testimony. Anoint yourself and begin to prophesy. Satala greenashed. Take a legatuga, take a legatuga. My God. Prophesy. Sapa, young lady, heaven is going to intervene in your life. Look at me. God wants to relocate you. God is going to open a door for you that will take you out of this place. Heaven will relocate you, and God will give you rest. My own strength fail me. Friends and families turn your backs on me. Lord, you stood by me. You never left. If you are sick in body, by this anointing oil. If you are sick in body, by this anointing oil, that sickness is out of your body. That disease in your blood. I've been told yesterday that so many miracles happened last night. People are approaching pastors that they want to testify. I decree that your own testimony is happening to you right now. That pain, 
that affliction in your bone, your skin, your tissues, your bladder. Somebody has a problem with the prostate. You have a prostate problem. You can't urinate. You can't urinate. There's a prostate challenge. Right now, it melts in the name of Jesus. A decree An free. amazing wonder prepared for mankind comes to Istanbul, Turkey. God bless you. My name is Johnson Suleiman. Please take a break and listen to this announcement. I hope it meets you well. Join me as I come to Esenyot in Istanbul. Turkey. Be my guest in Turkey for two days of God's manifestation and power. Tell everybody in Europe, tell everybody everywhere, join me in Turkey. It's going to be outstanding. It's going to be powerful. God will be healing people, will be ministering to people, and your life will never remain the same. Tell somebody to tell somebody to tell somebody that Apostle Johnson Suleiman is coming to SN Yacht. I'm coming to Turkey. God bless you. 20th to 21st July 2021, 9 a.m. and 4 p.m. daily. Happening at Dogan Arasli Bulvari number 21, cut 3, on top of